MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Yankees going up against the Oakland Athletics. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Paul Blackburn. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of a game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's Leave aggressive. He knows yeah, yeah. that he can get the swing and the miss, especially major. when he needs it most. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how effective he is in this one. DJ LeMayhew will get things going. Here comes a pitch. And that is in for a strike. And we're underway. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And now Bader up to the plate. In there for strike one. And a pitch. And now oh, the count oh is even. Rudder at first with no outs here. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Fouled off, he was late. First and second here, no outs. Strike two. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. In the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there. Just misses. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. No outs. Runners at first and second. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. Kemp to second. Relay to first. Double play. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Inside corner, that's a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Two outs. Down the line, it's a base hit. 
In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Yankees. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. That line drive isn't going to light up StatCast or anything like that, but it gets the job done. And he just kind of caught it on a weird spot of the bat, but he didn't get cheated with the swing, that's for sure. Now it's the right fielder, number 36. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he deals. And that one wrapped foul. Ball to strike. Swing and a miss. Nice grab. Gathers and throws. On the money. Nice play. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Oakland, today's starting pitcher, number 76. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some A's. soft contact, the let the defense A's. do work behind oh, him. And I think a guy like that yeah. can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They could move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. One down. Batting second, the first, the first base baseman, Ryan. Ryan. Number 49, up next for the A's. Kind of a throwback, no batting gloves. There's a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. That one hit to right. Two away. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with that pitches good. that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. And first offering is fouled off. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a foul straight back. The pitch. Good eye right there. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. Oakland goes quietly. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here in the East Bay, all set for the start of the inning. And now the veteran third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And the right hander back to work. That's in there, going one. Righty to the plate. Swung on, belted. This one's got a chance. And gone. It just got out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they add to their lead. It's 2-0. A 
was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit velo wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Here's Billy McKinney at the plate. No ball. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Here's your one. Swing and a miss as he was late no that time. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0 2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks and fires. And now ball. two and nothing. Two balls, no strike. That's ball. a little bit low. Three balls, no strike. In yeah. there for a strike at the top of the zone. Yeah, the right hander deals. Huh. And that's in there at the knees. Full count. Out towards right center field. Brown makes the grab, and there's two away. Got it done. The catcher, number Here's Jose Trevino. Jose. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. First pitch, oh, just misses. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. And there's a ball. Really impressive with the oh, no. way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he steals strikes for his pitcher. The 1 0. To the right side. Over to first. And that is the third out of the inning. Solo Homer extends the Yankees' lead. It's now a 2 0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back. So here's the Brown at the plate. The right, the right field. And a pitch. Yeah. And that one clips the corner. Yeah. 
That ball. misses, and it's a ball and a strike. The pitch. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Batting. 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 Next up for the A's, Brent Rooker. Rooker. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Ball. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. Two, two. That's a nice miss right there. The pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. the pitch they say you win the next ball. pitch misses and that's ball one one two Righty delivers. Just Too missed. Low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters, frozen for strike three. A's go quickly and quietly there, and they're down 2 nothing. And welcome back. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Harrison Bader. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. The right-hander back to work. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. And that one's gone. Harrison Bader hits one out. His seventh home run of the season. And they add a run. It's 3-0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And here is Anthony Rizzo. He hit into a double play his first time up. That one's in there 0-1. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Next one misses, and the count is one and one. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And now it's 1-2. and two. 
Now this is in the air down the line. Rizzo out of the play. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Stanton measures six feet, six inches, 33 years old. He's the reigning all-star MVP. This one high in the air to left center. Ruiz under it. And there's two away. Up next, Up next the Yankees. Yankees. The right two right outs, base is empty. Yankees. Number 36 Bowers. stepping in now for the Yankees. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Kemp gets it to first. Out. And the inning is over. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. Back in Oakland, now Shea Langoliers. The catcher. Shea Langoliers. The pitch. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So a man aboard and stepping in is the speedy Tyler Wade. Laid-off man on, it's time to play a little small ball. Get some base runners. Try to dig yourself out of the hole. And that's in there for strike one. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Go away. Come on, Oakland. And he'll one. Now that's one and one. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swings and misses. And the count is two and two. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Bader makes the grab on the run. Batting nine, the center fielder. Este Yuri Ruiz. Up next for the A's. And the first oh. pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Next ah. offering is in for a strike. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch. Goes to second for one. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. On to inning number four. Yankees three, and the A's nothing. On to the fourth. Here's Josh Donaldson. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And here it comes. That's Called strike up. right there. Oh. 
Next offering One misses more. down and away. You know, these Yankees doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top That's of that, fine. they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. At the belt and fires. That one drifts inside. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Fought off foul. That one ripped, and that's Double. just foul. Ground ball up the middle. Fires over to first. One up, one down. Now back, back. left field, Billy. And up next for New York, Billy McKinney. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that's outside. 1-0. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together for him. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. 0 for 1 with a fly out. That oh. catches the zone for a strike. It's 0-1. Oh. The pitch. Swing. He swings and fouls one off. Kicks and deals. Oh. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. The catch number 39. And stepping in for the Yankees, Jose Trevino picked up a base hit to center his first time up. Just one. missed. One ball, no strike. The 1 0. The rope into right, and that's a base hit. They stop the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Up next to the Yankees. The second base. Hit. So the lineup flips over. Here's DJ LeMayhew. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. There's the strike. He can get through this one. Put up a zero. This will help in his outings to come. First and second, two down. That one the other way. Fair ball. McKinney rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's 4 nothing. Kemp with a relay home. The tag out. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. One run, three hits, no errors, and one man left. To the bottom of inning number four now. The Yankees four and the A's nothing. Back here at the ballpark, here's Tony Kemp. And he deals. And that drops in for a strike. You know, these A's just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. 
That oh. misses the zone. One ball, one strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Puts it away for the out. Up next, next. Oh, oh. the first base. Yeah, the batter now, right. number 49. Oh, for no, one, he no. flat out to right this first trip. That's in for a strike. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Next offering is foul back. Oh and two now. Just missed. Nope. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0-2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Count, Next Ball pitch two. misses outside, and it's 2-2. Two two. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. The bat, so credit the pitcher the for having him out in front of that pitch. Yeah, yeah. Clearly he had him fooled. Yeah. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Oakland's DH, J.J. Bladé. Went down on strikes his first time through. That's a slider for a strike. Just ball, off the ball. outside edge. One and one. One, ball, one strike. Just That's missed. Ball two. That's right. Good Next offering is foul back. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two down, nobody on. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Two outs. Stays alive. Next pitch has popped up. And that will end the inning. Nothing across here this half. We played four. The Yankees four and the A's nothing. Back here in the East Bay. Top five, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Harrison Bader. Blackburn back to work and first offering is fouled off you know these Yankees doing a good job of putting the ball into play and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side the numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning and oh, they've only struck out right. twice so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the ball next ball. offering misses one and two to count one ball two strikes Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. 
And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Rizzo in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And it's out of here. His 12th of the season, and they add on. It's five zip. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. Check swing. Oh, no appeal. Ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Right-hander kicks deals. Ball, no. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Next offering is down low. Ball three. The Athletics have some bullpen action. Shintaro Fujinami getting loose out there. Here comes a pitch. And that one clips the corner. There's a strike. Full count. And the righty deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Now bad. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so. I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Manager out of the dugout now, and he will make a move to dip into the A's bullpen. Paul Blackburn will depart, and a home run really bit him today as he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm coming on after the break. So they turn things over to the righty, Shintaro Fujinami. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Runner on at first with one gone. And now the right fielder, number 36. Swing and a foul straight back. Left-hand hitter waits. They say it went. Oh, the 0-2. And that's in the oh, dirt. Two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. The one two. Swing and a high fly ball left field. And he makes the catch. Out number two. Now batting the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Man at first. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. He's already homered in this game.
off the mark there. And that is ball one. And a good Ball eye two. there. Two -oh. Let's go, There's yep. a strike. That's a strike. Uh, that split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Next one is off the plate, and that's ball three. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. McKinney no. in the box here lets that one go for a ball nasty backdoor slider there's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it so that's a good take by him right. next offering is in for a strike two on two outs it's softly on the ground left side they limit the damage here Anthony Rizzo leaves the yard here. And the lead is now 5 nothing. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Seth Brown. And a pitch. Ball one there. You know, these athletics just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Go in. Come on, Oakland. Next Ball. pitch misses, and it's 2-1. 2-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Righty to the plate. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a cold ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Rooker batting with one down, takes a strike. Next One offering more. is in the dirt. Wait for your pitch. And a pitch. There Tried to go. check his swing there. Now an appeal to first. And that's a strikeout. Mike Fillmore says he went around. Well, he's on a great Number run of strikeouts Number and showing excellent control yeah, and command, yeah. not walking opposing Peter batters. Man. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. The next the offering ball. misses, and a count one, one and two. two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Up, the one-two. 
upstairs. Now this offense has just been locked down almost five full innings of shutout baseball. The 2 2. Swing and a high fly ball to left. McKinney settles under it and makes the catch. And that is that. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. We're through five. It's the Yankees five and the A's nothing. Back in Oakland, now it's the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Fujinami, a 6'6 righty. 180 pounds and he was born in Japan and a good fastball to start him off at strike one Japan has made a major impact on Major League Baseball over these last few decades we've seen players completely change the game next offering is in for a strike Good eye right there. And it's even up. Got him swinging. Well, pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, this pitch has come back into play, and they are doing some special things with it. In the air, right side. Brown pulls it down, and there's two down. Now back, back. Second, second base, base. DJ LeMay. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And that's in there at the knees. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And that one is inside. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Hard on the ground to first. Takes it himself, and the Yanks go quietly. Nothing doing for the offense that time. 7-8-9 due up in the home half of the inning. It's the Yankees 5, and the A's nothing. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning, and here is Shea Langoliers. Langoliers. The pitch. And that's Ball. too high. One -oh. And the 1 0. -oh. Yep. One ball. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. The next pitch misses two and one. Outside corner, there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Base knock center field.
Only two no, hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. So, man aboard. Now batting Tyler Wade. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. That ball misses one. the zone. Ball one. One ball, no strike. That pitch gets the inside corner. And the count one and one. That one down the line. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. And a ball and two strikes. Oh, right to the backstop. Langoliers into scoring position on the wild pitch. And there goes the double play possibility. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up in the scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. And the right-hander deals. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, Este Yuri Ruiz. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch. Ball one no. low. Movement in the bullpen. Wandy Peralta, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. King, the right-hander, loosening up as well. Come on, go young here. And a pitch. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. Yeah. And save. He busted it down the line for that infield single. Second baseman, Tony. Yeah. Now it's the second baseman, Tony Kemp. Here we go, Tony. Just Tony. off the outside part of the plate. First and third, one down. Ground ball right side could be two. Rizzo over to second, double play. And that'll do it for the inning. So it's no runs, two hits, no errors, and one left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Yankees five and the A's nothing. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Harrison Bader. Fujinami back to work. That one oh, missed. Oh. Oakland's bullpen has some movement. Sam Long preparing to come on if needed. Pruitt getting loose as well. Ah. On the corner for a strike. And a count one and one. On the ground to third. Gathers and throws to first. And a quick out number one. Up next for the Yankees. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. He's already homered here in this one. And ball one.
in the air pretty deep out to center field Ruiz on the move and puts the squeeze on that one and a couple of quick outs now bad the designated, designated hitter, hitter. John and here is Giancarlo Stanton yeah. with this kind of lead he can swing freely try to hit the ball out of the park do what he loves to do That's a strike. 0 oh, 1. Not many guys go up there looking for an 0 0 breaking ball, but a good way for the pitcher to get ahead in the count. Hard hit left side. Sends it across the first. That ends the frame. Down in order, goal to Yankees. But they hold a 5 0 lead. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Digging in for the Oakland. Number 49. Ryan. And the right hitter back to work. There's a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Next offering is in for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. And the 0-2. Started to swing, held up. Next pitch is downstairs. Executed that pitch very nicely. Just missed with it. That one laced to center and a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He went up there and got it. With two strikes, I'm not going to leave this now in the umpire's I'm hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he well, loves to do. So nice job right there coming back in that at bat. This is J.J. Blade. Need a base hit here. Ball, Ball one, on. no strikes. Three. That's through there for a strike. Ripped to third and caught. The right field, right number, number 15. 15. Seth Brown. Seth Brown up next for the A's. And there's the strike. Of the zone. It's called a strike. Come on, Oakland. Next one oh. misses. Now one and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Rooker lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. That one's in there. Strike one. Well, this looks one like more. it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Gets under and pops it up. LeMayhew on his way over. Pulls it in on the run. And that ends the inning. The A's strand one. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit.
So a new pitcher on the mound for the A's, Sam Long. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. And stepping in for the Yankees, number 36. The right field, Jake Bauer. The why to kick the pitch. Strike one. Oh one. Line drive and out number one on the grab. Josh Donaldson stepping in now for the Yankees. There's a strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ken Waldachuk, the rookie left-hander, appears to be getting going. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. In the dirt. Up with it. Fires to first. Ow. Two away now after the drop third strike. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the left fielder, Billy McKinney. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. One, oh. one ball, no strike. And now the lefty. So two no, balls ball. and no strikes. Hey. And that one is in for a strike. the count two and one and another ball three and two payoff pitch got him looking and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So the Yanks go in order as they are unable to add to their 5 nothing lead. For the Yankees, Wandy Peralta. He's been so good against lefties. Number 58, Wandy Peralta. Now it's Chase Peterson. And when you talk about a elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. Good eye right there. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. Next pitch misses inside. Now 2-0. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And soft Get hand down. defenders yeah. are able to make tough plays look easy. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Jimmy Cordero getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Yeah. 
Swing and a tapper. Whips it to first on the run. And he beats the throw very close right there. Tyler Wade up next for the A's. Pitch that's misses the there. Yeah, that's ball one. Now snap throw to first. He's and he's back in easily. pitch foul ball there the one one swing and a bouncer LeMayhew looks to second that's one throw to first safe now bad the center fielder Este Yuri Ruiz up next for the A's. In there, and it's on one. Pitches outside, ball one. One ball, one strike. And a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Yeah, okay. Good job of just putting the ball in play no with way. two strikes. I could watch base yeah, hits yeah. like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's the second baseman, Tony Kemp. Pitch is in there, going one. Belton fires. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And here it comes. That misses the zone. And the count is even two and two. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Come on, man. Get the pitch. Play. Bounce to third. Inning over. A strand a couple. It's 5 0. Welcome back. We go to the ninth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Long, back to work. Long, a 6-1 lefty. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. That one fouled off. The wind and the pitch. 
And a count one and two. The pitch. And down on strikes he goes. And one away. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Trevino oh. stands in now and watches strike one. Misses outside, oh. and it's one and one. One one. Good oh, eye two. in that spot. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Rooker pulls it in, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That now, front now. shoulder coming That's open instead of staying closed. Okay. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. LeMahieu in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is in for a strike. The wind of the pitch. That one out to right. Brown. That's this one sized up. And that is that. So they make short work of them there. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Yankees five and the A's nothing. Righty reliever out of the pen, Michael King. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And now the first baseman, number 49. One for three. Ryan Here comes a pitch. Inside just missed. King is what you're looking for in a good reliever. The ball stays in the ballpark. It's so hard to square him up. Check swing and a 1-0. Appeal to third. And no swing, says Jerry Hillsdale. And he grounds one to the right side. LeMayhew gets it to first. One up, one down. Yeah, he stays out of the middle and, and pitches either at the bottom, at the top, on the edges. And because of that, if you do get it in the air, it's usually just a high fly ball. And when it's down in the zone, it's on the ground. Lede in the box now. No balls and a strike. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jimmy Cordero, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Number 97 getting cranked up as well. He's so consistent that the manager basically can look at it like he's got three outs sitting in his pocket. That shortens the game. Check swing didn't go. And it's two and one. When he takes the mound, you feel like, hey, this inning is wrapped or this ball game is over. He's just that good. And you can see it in opposing hitters as well. Three ball, one strike. And the three one. And that one fouled off. They know when he comes in, pretty much forget about it. Kind of reminds me of Mariano Rivera. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me, ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Brown stands in now and watches strike no one. What strike?
Down to their final strike. And down on strikes. Ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 5-0 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying...